Hey, this is Scott of TheWaveCoding.com. In this example, I'll be using the Raphael JavaScript library to draw graphics in a browser. It's a nice open source library. It's relatively simple. It works well. It has decent documentation. It's under the MIT license. Here's my example for this video. I'll, have, of course, have everything on GitHub you can read in detail. So you can just move these boxes around on the screen. You can resize them. When you move, the opacity changes. And when you resize, the text stays in the center of the box. Let's go to the code itself. It's relatively simple here, just one HTML page. We have a JSON object that stores our initial positions and names for the boxes. It's just got uh, XY with height and box name. Those are just whatever I de decided to use. We have our Raphael object that we initialize in the startup function. This function is just called in the body on load, which is at the bottom of the page. You just initialize it with a div down there and also a size for our canvas. And we start the drawing function of the entire page. So I have a few other functions I'll get to in a bit that happen based on user interaction. Here's the main draw function. We have a few objects that we store information for the four boxes as things happen. We have a loop that will uh, go through all of those boxes to initialize them with uh, the Raphael objects. We just pull that information from the JSON and then we uh, parse it to make sure some of it is our numbers, you know, the position data. And then we initially position the text on each box based on that uh, JSON data. And we initialize rectangles for each box with uh, the Raphael primary object, just a rec function here, and then it has initial size and position data that you pass in. You can also use the attribute function once you uh, initialize to give it other properties. So we give it a fill of gray. If we look back at the example, you see each box is gray. And here we initialize text for each box. It's of course a, a separate object, but we're just going to store it in a different array here. And then we give it the text positions that we formed, and also the actual text from our JSON data. And we use attribute again to change the font and fill of those texts. You can see each one is a little different. And here we are going to initialize our drag rectangles. It's just a little box here on the bottom of each one that will take user interaction so we can resize the boxes. Very similar process to the other ones. And here we are assigning uh, user interactions to functions. We have this drag, which is a Raphael feature. So we go into the documentation real quick. Look up drag. So it's element.drag. It's got the three functions. We have on move, on start, and on end. And then here we're assigning functions to those. We've got the movement, and then we've got the resizing. This happens with the little box. This happens with the big box. What, what that means is when you interact with this large box, it will move. But when you interact with this small box, it will resize. That's just based on our code that you'll see up here. So here's our first group of functions. We've got move start function, move drag, and move up. So when we start the initial movement of that, so this box moves, opacity changes, but the size does not change. 
it's just all in the code here. We, we save some data. Uh, this is the object that is called. So that means we're modifying, modifying uh, the main object. But when you do this.resizer, we are modifying a linked object. We linked that back at the bottom. I mean, in this uh, main function right here. So we assigned our drag box to this. We signed our text to this. That way we just have references to move everything at once. Otherwise, if you did not do that, uh, when we moved to the main box, the text and this little box down here would not move. So that's all we're doing in that is we're also dealing with the text in the smaller box. Same thing here. We've got the main box that we move here. This is just some JSON data that's passed to this attribute function. So you've got the X and the Y that we're adjusting with uh, uh, past JSON data. Same thing with our little resizer box for this and also the text for this. Very similar. And the move up function I just put in here for uh, an example of what you could potentially do. Really, when uh, in this case, you might want to save the, the position the user moved to, and you would do that in the up function. Although, so, uh, also, I should say, when you move a box and you let go, the opacity goes back to normal, which is what happens right here these three uh, calls to the three different objects. And then we get down to the resizing function. It's basically the same. It just does different things for each uh, user interaction. You know, you save the information, and then you also uh, resize. So that's about it. I hope you found this interesting. It's a great little library. I, I like it. Uh, hopefully, you'll figure out some nice stuff to uh, try it out with. Thanks.